but I know enough to know that I'm doing this wrong. So this is a Teledyne Boom. I love this thing. Uh, this thing was in my family's summer cabin for years and years and years and was like a totem of that experience. The reality of this though is it uses a super big PAR 36 sealed bulb housing. This particular one also takes a six volt lantern battery. Yeah, so you've got the... And it works. It works fine. It like, it works great. And for the time, fucking awesome. But you know what? By today's standards, it's pretty wimpy. So today, we're gonna take this and make it a little more similar to this, hopefully. So here's the deal. These things are awesome. They work great. They're super bright, super durable. Batteries are great, but I mean, it looks like a space gun. The other thing is, I think this was like $90 or something obscene. It's just not, it's not worth that. The only reason you buy this is if you have a lot of this. So here's the plan. We're gonna take one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this, okay, maybe this, and put them together and see what we can make. All right, first thing we have to do is a little bit of cleanup on this guy, because the last bulb that was in here broke. Um, so what I gotta do is, it looks like these little clippy guys, looks like a chunk of the old bulb is still in there. So we'll start by getting that out. Oh, 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 almost forgot, most important part. Gotta make continuity hard. Okay, now we can start. So these little guys have got to go. Oh, fuck. This is gonna suck. There we go. Okay, that's a great start. All right, second bit of cleanup is actually a fitment issue. Oh, I'm skipping ahead of myself. But let's talk about it now. So, this has this cool battery holder for the lantern battery. So uh, what we're gonna have to do, unfortunately, is remove that, because there's no fit. That's our first step. Let's get that out of there. It's gonna be a little tricky. some progress. Alrighty, I want to save this thing for posterity. I don't really feel like destroying those connections, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna snip it. Okay, now we've got ourselves an empty box full of metal shavings. Cool. Okay, so another important thing we need to check, does this actually fit? Yes. That is good. That makes us happy. Great. Kind of snug too, that's nice. It might not rattle around too bad. Mm, yeah, you know, let's make sure all our bits work before we get any anywhere closer to this thing. So, onto the bits. Is it a lamp? Is it a bulb? Who knows? Uh, this is some no-name Amazon special, uh, but it's, you know, it's a sealed PAR 36. It's got all the right bits to be doing what I need it to do. Honestly, no clue if positive or negative matters. I don't think so. It's an LED. Why would it really care? Uh, but we're going to find out. Now, this is just your kind of bog standard 3D printed, you know, battery adapter thing. Uh, this is just plastic, some stakes, and some wire. Oh, also a note on these batteries. I'm using some very old batteries, uh, you know, just to reduce the pain if I explode them. Contact. 
Oh. All right, real question. Can we spin this around? Does it matter? Nope, doesn't matter. This uh, little project is really kind of exploring the territory known as what little I know about electricity, but I know enough to know that I'm doing this wrong. You cannot discharge a lithium ion battery uh, down to it, like you can't kill it dead. If you kill it dead, you're gonna end up not being able to charge the thing again. Um, battery protection is built into DeWalt tools. The reason they build it into the tool is it makes the battery a little bit easier to produce and a little bit cheaper to produce, makes the packaging a little bit smaller. Most tools, you know, there's plenty of room in a tool and a handle to add, you know, more stuff. Uh, so a battery protection circuit, all it does is it just keeps you from discharging the battery down to complete zero. And uh, yeah, you just can't kill them dead. Oh, look at that. That's a good fit. Ooh. Is it a good fit? Yes, it's a great fit. Oh, we love it. Okay, let's get that ring back on here. Yes. Get this nice ring on here. Yes. Okay. Cool. We got ourselves a lamp. So here's the thing. This needs some kind of battery protection, uh, but I still am kind of dealing with what I expect to be some packaging issues, as well as uh, laziness. Oh. Uh, so here's what we're thinking. This thing is not a super hydro. Um, this that other DeWalt flashlight that I showed you, that thing has sat on shelves and tire installs and, uh, you know, barely managed to get into any of its actual battery capacity. Um, so I'm going to risk it. I think if I just pay some attention to this thing, don't leave batteries in it, you know, don't leave it on for days at a time. Uh, I think it should be fine. That's another reason too for using this is this battery is from 2009 and so is its twin. Um, so if they die a, you know, sacrificial death for the good of this project, uh, I'm not going to be too terribly sad. And if it does become a problem, then we can fix it again. Why fix it now when we can fix it later? Okay. Uh, also on that subject, we're going to put this together with wire nuts instead of soldering it. I want to see this thing work before we get too crazy about making it pretty. There's nothing more permanent than a temporary wire nut. Alright, so let's see. Okay, we need key on check. No sparking. That's always a good start. Beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can package this thing in some meaningful way. How do we want this to actually orient? Yeah, I think that's my guy. Let's we'll see about hard mounting this thing too in the future. I don't want to get too carried away just yet. Yoop. Yoop. C'est magnifique. Look at that. Pretty cool. And hey, it didn't even take half a beer to finish. I say beer, I don't mean beer, I mean smart juice. Mm. <laughs> Let's go try it out. Whoa, hold the phone. I forgot an important piece of information. This bulb works with these batteries because it claims that it's good for 12 uh, to 30 volts DC. But that's why we don't have any kind of step down going from 18 volts to 12 volts. It's allegedly it doesn't care. Let's go on a tour of the scary basement dungeon. Test this thing out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>